You pussy game, pussy good. game, pussy game. <laughs> pussy game, pussy game, pussy game. Hell yeah. You're listening to Come Town, the world's only podcast. That's right, bitch. The greatest podcast in, in the, the world. In the fucking world. Suck our And nuts. I'm saying that not as a joke, but seriously. Me too. That's right. People, people think a lot of the hubris related to this show is uh, ironic. No. I, I tell you, that's the only thing that's not mm-hmm. ironic about this show. It's true. That, my love of gaming, mm-hmm. and then the racism is about half and half. Ha- yeah, 50-50 depending Yeah, on the kind of experiences we've had with minorities in the last 24 hours. That's right. <laughs> in fact, I only have pleasant experiences with minorities <laughs> in real life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Only? Only, yeah. Really? There's never one? You know what I'm it's saying? It's weird. You know, it's because it's like I, like, I don't think I'm racist, but it's also mm-hmm. like I haven't been put in many situations where I could have become racist. Well, explain. You know? I mean, like like I had that Korean guy fuck me over on my rent That's that one right. time. Mm-hmm. But I it's re- also every Chinese person I've dealt with in like a, in a landlord situation. They've been great. Mm, interesting. They've been almost perfect. Interesting. Really? So I, I guess, yeah, maybe Koreans can go fuck off that's a little right. bit. My... But not Chinese, and they're the same race. So Yeah, 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 you're right. So that's what kind of protects me from racism is mm-hmm. the Chinese being better than it's Koreans. It's not having an understanding of Asian peoples. Yeah. Well, you know, the Chinese and the Koreans are similar. It's not like calling the Japanese and Koreans or Chinese the same. Japan has beef with the rest of the Chinese countries. Right, right, right. But China... Would you say Koreans uh, look a little more Japanese? No. In fact, they'd be pretty fucking mad at you. (laughs) I don't know. I don't know, man. Would they? Yeah. I, I know a Chinese way. guy. My, I mean, I know... My I order can tell a of Korean preference guy. goes Chinese, Japanese, and Korean. Interesting. Yeah. I would put Chinese at the bottom. <laughs> we started talking about the racism being ironic, and we're ranking <laughs> the types of Asians right now. But yeah, for sure, Korean... It's not racist. Korean goes number one. It's racist to say you dislike a group of people. It's not racist to say to that have they're worse to than... Have, that, yeah. That's right. You're right. I love their cuisine. Yeah. You know, that's on, if we're being honest, Korean barbecue is really. It's weird that cuisine is a French word and the French have the most disgusting food of any people. I just think it's regular food, both butter and shit. All the chef terms come from France and yeah, French yeah. food is bullshit. French cooking is like very regimented and fucked up. Like you yeah, be they, a French they chef. Think it's, they think it's the army. Because it's the closest thing to the army they have. Yeah, because they don't have a real army. Because they're gay bitches. Yeah. <laughs> so to them, Julianning shit. Yeah, actually, you know what? French is the worst type of Asian. <laughs> have you seen an Guess Asian? Guess what, France? You've just been downgraded from a white country <laughs> to an Asian one. Uh, we're podcasting. This is this is pressure podcasting. Nick's got a damn spot. He's sitting on a uh, wooden yeah. chair, dude. I'm it doing is... it with a tooth with uh, missing a damn tooth. Your voice already <laughs> sounds different. I wasn't expecting it to be so different, but it is. It's like when a little kid loses that fucking front tooth. You like sound, my F's. Yeah, dude, you, you, fr- you look like you look and sound like the Stranger Things kid. Yeah, hell this is yeah, Stranger dude. Things season twelve, where mm-hmm. like they've run out of people in the town to molest him. He's 35 years old. He works at Blockbuster. Hell still yeah. rides the bike there. Oh yeah. Still lives Same at home. Same bike. I guess he got a tooth in season two. They got teeth. Did he? I don't know. I don't watch that show because it sucks. Yeah, I, I only. The only like good show laps. is. Uh, I Chopped. like Mind Hunter. You like Mind Hunter? No, nah, I don't like any cooking shows. I like except Chopped. for Guys Grocery Games. Me and oh that one Guys Grocery Games fucking rules. That's that is Chopped basically, but with Guy just stunting yeah. and acting. Chopped, chopped is for like intellectuals. I, I prefer mm-hmm. Guys Grocery Games. That's it's true. Just, it's easier to understand. Yeah. It's not as complicated as Chopped. It's for it's yeah it's for it's for guys like me who just you know at the end of a hard day at work I don't want to think. Mm-hmm. I just want to shut down and watch some people compete in a grocery store. That's right. That's right. To see who can make the best Oreo dinner. Oh, the b- fucking... Oreo curry dinner. T- t- yeah, tilapia fucking crusted. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, Oreo crusted tilapia. All right, dude. your ingredients are the fuck some uh, mayonnaise, mustard, uh, uh, a bucket of of, uh, of uh, Kool-Aid powder, <laughs> and uh, this... These stack of uh, uh, the coupon books they sell <laughs> and they hand out at the front of the store. Um, I, me and Eldis have been gambling, and Pete, 
my other roommate have been gambling on Chopped recently, and it's it really fucking throws on, a little something on uh, our our uh, favorite gambling website. Yes, Bet DSI. <laughs> <laughs> they started they started uh, covering Chopped. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but it's fun, dude. It throws a little extra something something to the Chopped watching experience. Yeah. Yeah, man. Sorry, I'm just getting the timer going here. Okay. Yeah, because no we got man. This is fucking down to the wire. I don't know why we didn't do this shit yesterday. Man, Sunday happened. I texted you. I asked you. To, I said. I know. I forgot it was <laughs> Tuesday already. <laughs> Through the wire. You'd think that by now I would know that I do two podcasts a week. <laughs> it is true. Once we do one, I'm like, well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm working done. for the week. <laughs> it is. You know what? It's funny because like people are like, you don't work very hard. You only do two hours of saying mm-hmm. the dumbest shit. Yes. Like, two times a week. Mm-hmm. You don't deserve thirty thousand dollars a month for that. Right. And you know what? It's like fucked up. We have not taken a single break except for like maybe three or four or five times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every couple of months. <laughs> Nothing is ever. No co-host has ever gone missing for yeah. be, be, be it like illness in the family or going on vacation in Europe for three weeks for no yeah, reason. That's you know? never happened. That's never happened. So. We've never forgotten to upload an episode and just kind of skipped it and hoped no yeah. one would notice. It is funny. Like we we did hit thirty thousand. And, Hell yeah. And, uh, and like, I saw a lot of people deleting subscriptions. They're mm-hmm. like, fuck that. You make too much money. You don't deserve this much money. People yes. are like writing that. And it's like, we didn't deserve $200. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no amount of money we deserve to do a podcast. Right. Absolutely not. What we deserve is health insurance, and I still don't have it. Yep. Me neither. Clearly with my fucking tooth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be toothless till Friday, dude. Yeah. And then I get a little flipper. And the reason I deserve health insurance isn't because I'm a good person. It's because I've paid probably $70,000 in taxes this year. Yeah. And Damn. I don't use the fucking roads. I walk on the sidewalk. It's true. Who's paying for the sidewalks? That doesn't come out of taxes. Nope. That's private. The mailmen pay for that <laughs> That's shit. right. That's right. They get That comes from all the birthday money they steal out of all the cards they don't deliver. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> damn, you paid that much. I'm about to get banged attack. Dude, this fucking tooth thing was fucking brutal. How much did it cost? Well, this, I got hooked up. I got hooked up. Uh, you got to because... stop getting hooked up on dental work. That's how, <laughs> that's how this happened in the first place. No, this is good. No, this guy is your good. Your tooth was a little pink, and your mom said she knew a guy. Yeah, and Here we are true. three months later, mm-hmm. and you look like a goddamn jack o <laughs> I know, dude. But it's out of my mouth now, okay? The, the problems are gone. Now I'm going to get a little flipper for six months. I'm going to be able to pop it in and out. Uh, and then I'm going to get a, and then I'm going to get a dental implant and that I'm not scrimping on, but that's going to cost like at least two grand. And then my surgery, who knows how much that's going to fucking cost. Uh, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to have to spend like 10 grand to not have a fucked up mouth. That's insane. I know. It's crazy. That's really fucking I can't get insane. fucking health insurance. I mean, the flip side is I'm going to have to spend $100,000 on that surgery where they break your bones. And <laughs> that's tall. true to get to be half an inch taller. No, it's a lot more than that, dude. How much more? Like four inches. No, really? Yeah, dude. Mm, yeah, I take girl. If you wanted to grow a half inch, I'm sure you could figure out. Lifts would be enough. It's true. I mean, I need to. I'm five two. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm trying to get to six seven. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you're going lifts. You're gonna break your fucking. I'm breaking all my bones. Yeah. Ooh, even your dick bone. Which yeah. Everyone has. I'm having all of my joints shattered. Beautiful fingers. Yeah, everything. Lengthening them. My skull. <laughs> oh, really? I'm going to have all my bones pulverized. <laughs> and then they're going to put me in a giant vacuum mm. with a hose that comes down and goes directly into my lungs. So I'm going to be tube-fed air okay. to stay alive. Mm-hmm. Nutrients through IV. And then you keep me in that fucking vacuum till I've expanded. Ah, like, yeah. a, like a sea monkey. Like a bathtub suicide. Yes, yeah. <laughs> then I'll get all the girls. Perfect, dude. Just be f- spongy, <laughs> round, and fucked up. Yeah. Waterlogged. Just on my, like, yeah, just a purple fucking mess on the ground <laughs> in a puddle. But then on my Tinder bio, I put six, seven. <laughs> Women are like, well, he does look like a corpse. Yeah. He's a, he, he does look like a rotten eggplant. Mmm. Like right fucking, on. Yeah, melted beanbag chair. Ooh, hell like yeah. The vinyl fucking caught on fire. That sounds hot, but, dude. I'd fuck a vi- I'd fuck, I'd fuck a big beanbag chair. You know the bitch. rules. Do you know? Because everybody's everybody wants a tall. I almost said the n word. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it. 
everybody <laughs> wants everybody wants uh, uh, you a know, tall guy. You gotta be tall these days. Mm-hmm. I remember it used to be because look, I'm four eleven. You know, mm-hmm. and sure, yes, yes. Know, Twenty years ago, guys like me were respected. Yes, put on a nice f- fucking suit. Yeah, a in, fedora. In the nineteen six in the nineteen thirties, the average male height was three foot six. <laughs> <laughs> the basket. See, the Mexicans haven't grown since then. They all yeah. used to be basketball players back then. Mm-hmm. That's a little known fact. Yeah. When the when the WNBA first launched, <laughs> it was all Mexican men. Yeah. So and uh stood for uh where what is the NBA? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They originally sent his contractors to build the hardwood floors for the NBA, but then they just started their own league. Yeah. While searching for the location of the NBA. Um yeah. yeah, bro. I've I've looked into it, man. I I was also gonna do that thing that African women do where you put rings around your neck mm. to make my your neck bigger, yeah. longer. No, I just go on dates with women. They're like, how tall are you? I'm like, 6'4". <laughs> my, sh- my shoulders are like at their waist. <laughs> that sounds pretty good, dude. Yeah. And then like we're walking down the street and like there's like a tube hanging off of some building that's under construction. But mm-hmm. for whatever reason, the tube is hooked up to like a vacuum on the top Uh-oh, floor. You get, mm-hmm. It like sucks air in. Yes. And then she's like going through her purse and her keys get sucked up the tube. And she's mm-hmm. like, oh no, my keys. And I'm like... I got this. Yeah. And I just stick my long <laughs> head <laughs> of that tube and I get oh, that. Yeah. And then all the guys on the street are jealous because none of them have a four and a half foot long neck. Of course, dude. Yeah. You stunted on them, dude. I did. You burden it. You ostrich all over those motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> you got that big ostrich neck. Hell yeah. That sounds pretty good. Um, I The surgery I would like is not elective. It's the one I need. Yeah. Uh, bro, this motherfucker... Grabbed. What do you mean I don't need surgery to make my neck three feet long? You think you need that? Yes. Will you die if you don't have it? Here's the thing, man. You don't need a tooth. That's, you I got guess. like 30 of them. I only have one neck and it's not long enough. That's true, man. You got. I'm being selfish. Fuck. You're yeah. right. Well, my neck's not long. Do I need the surgery? No, because you're morbidly obese. I'm, First I'm basically, of all, I am regularly obese. I'm, I'm basically physically perfect, except for... <laughs> except for your short-ass neck. <laughs> Everywhere you go, people are like, look at that little fucking short neck piece of shit. <laughs> his body's so beautiful. His, <laughs> his calves, his pecs, yeah. uh, works of God. That's what they say. But the neck, that little fucking mm. squat piece of shit. I know, dude. Damn. I'm sorry, man. Everyone has been saying that, and it's been hard on me, because I agree with them. Your neck is disgusting. Yeah. But I love you so much i always have your back but now that you're bringing it up yeah, yeah. you have a fucked up neck yeah so that's got to be depressing having your front tooth missing you know it's kind of funny dude every uh, to all day today i was I like i mean it's funny to me no no like but all day like first of all i was on the train and just no homeless people ask you for money like one <laughs> A lady, a lady came over me. She was like, "You have some money," and I just smiled at her. And she walked away. She didn't even ask for anything. She was like, "Fucking taken aback." <laughs> I look like a guy who's in his first stages of homelessness because mm. you know what I mean. Like I just no, no, no. You look like a guy that's homeless. Yeah. You look like a guy that's been homeless to the point where he lost a tooth. This isn't week one. This is fucking right. years, the decay and is years and years and years of homelessness. My regular habits are just what a homeless guy's dental habits are. Yeah. Where you're on a first name basis with everyone that works at every shelter in the city. <laughs> Let me just get some scraps, please. Yeah. You got your fucking shopping cart pulled up to the front of one of those Link NYC booths and you're watching fucking... Oh yeah, Kodak dude. Black music videos. I'm on. <laughs> oh, yeah, hell yeah, dude. I'm on four fucking milk crates, just yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. sitting down. Post it up. Yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, but people keep like looking at me and like, like, they're in, the, in this. I, I keep getting like a weird glance where it's like not horror like i guess they're trying to be polite but uh, all day i've been like damn i must have some something going on today i got some charisma about me and i'm like no they're gawking at you because you don't have a fucking front tooth <laughs> but like women have like looked at won't break eye contact immediately like usual <laughs> and it's like they're looking at my fucked up tooth and i'm like why but why are you going around smiling at people nobody ever sees my teeth i smile i'm a smile that's first of all that's a sign of a coward is smiling like, you know, so letting someone teeth. see your teeth i bare my teeth at people mm-hmm. like a chimp <laughs> yeah. 
yes. <laughs> to show, yeah. to show you're in control. Of if I'm going to Seven Eleven and I see two taquitos rolling on that fucking thing, right. I'm burying my teeth at everyone in there to let them know <laughs> that they better not order those fucking taquitos. They'll wait until I make my half pina colada, half Coca Cola Slurpee, and then I'll order those two taquitos. Wow, dude. Yeah, let them cook a little extra. You like them crispy. Yeah. Um, well, you know what can I say, man? I also had a moment in a coffee shop where I saw just some fucking, uh, like some hot woman with like some ugly dude, and mm-hmm. I was like, damn, I should fucking steal this girl. And I was like, oh, I'm I'm ugly as shit, mm-hmm. and I'm missing a fucking tooth. <laughs> like, imagine me just sauntering up to some woman. I like I like, like how it took losing a front tooth for your self esteem to finally match your physical appearance. <laughs> it was that was the last pick dude yeah because i mean the t- the tooth brought you from like a three to a two nah 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 front tooth really t- actually you know, what? you know what missing the tooth kind of brought you from a three to a different kind of three <laughs> yeah, yeah i think it gave, bought me up yeah like, I'm, it's weird it's like because it's like if you can <laughs> if you have dude i'm just and you're i'm we're in your room and it smells bad in here and like well i just took listen motherfucker no i don't say anything i can see that you got brand new laundry sitting on the bed so if anything yeah. it smells better in here than it normally first of well, I, t- I had a long day of writing two tweets, okay? Yeah. So I, I, I worked up a nice musk in the coffee shop today. Yeah. Uh, also, I'm out of soap, and I usually steal Eldis's, but he is also out of soap. Huh. So I've been taking regular showers with some of Ryan's shampoo, yeah. okay? And that doesn't clean the way soap should, yeah. okay? So that's number one. I never use any kind of soap. Or... You don't use any soap? Not often, no. I just rinse off. Not to wash your cheeks? No, dude, I'm fucking, I'm clean. You don't wash your asshole with soap. Nope. Are you out of your fucking mind? I just never smell bad. That's wild, dude. There's no way. Nah, man, it's... it's your I, dick, your dickhead under your balls, <laughs> you, none of that gets soaped down. I'm like once every two when weeks. When you fuck... Once every two weeks. You fuck once every two weeks? No. I, I mean, know you fuck more than that, bro. I, I know. At but the very least, you should be fucking scrubbing pussy off with some dial, dude. No. Yes, absolutely. I don't. Dude. Maybe I'll wash my balls and dick in the sink after. <laughs> with no soap, though. No, yeah, just a little rinse. A little rinse. I mean, no. but hold on. The human body was designed to do that. This is, no, absolutely not, dude. I don't give a fuck. You, you know about the to... rock star car wash? You ever hear that? No. People talk about that? <laughs> no, no. That's where you fuck a girl and then you wash your dick off in another girl's pussy right after. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the hooker shower is when you wash your genitalia in a in a sink. Yeah, preferably they, they also in a call gas that a, station. They bathroom. also call that a Mexican shower, don't they? Do they? I don't know. I I remember. I don't think so. I've heard that. Mexican I thought the Mexican shower was just Axe body spray. Horse bath and and then a horse bath. I thought the Mexican shower was just Axe body spray. Yeah. You know, but enough like you're in the misting tent at the zoo. That amount. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My 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 thing is is. Uh, Laying down in the shower and doing characters. <laughs> wait, no, wait a second. You lay down in the shower for real? Yeah. Or is this a bit? No, I do. My, I, you know what I like to do? I like to fucking work the edge of the bathtub into my rhomboids. Oh, no. Right? Yeah. That shit is dirty as fuck, dude. I know. I don't give a shit. You don't use soap and you lay down on yeah. the dirty ass bath. And I work my back. You're and fucked up, I fucking, bro. I press the, uh, the little soap holder into my, into my lats and shit. No, this is prison, dude. This is a that's a prison massage. Dude. Nobody, if you did that in prison, they'd probably kill you. Nah, they would they if would take if, it as an alpha move. Yeah, if you're, you're, you're using, laying down, the, using the fixtures to rub mm-hmm. yourself. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we're getting, we're that getting that dangerously close to shitting in the kitchen. <laughs> Territory again. You mean fucking beautifully close, dude? <laughs> That's what we need. That got me so good. <laughs> that was the best bit we've ever done in our lives, dude. Mm. Um. But no, I don't know, man. I think I'm just honestly what I'm really scared of is I'm gonna like having no tooth too much. Mm-hmm. I think if anybody's gonna pull it off, because actually, here's the thing: you're right. You're very r- rude the way you talk about it, and you could be better. But yes, I understand societally, I'm not the most attractive man. However, th- well, basically, my whole life has been uh, built up to overcome a horrible body. And if anyone can pull off no fucking tooth, honestly, it's me, dude. Yeah, probably. Honestly, like I could walk. That's true. I could make I it kind of charming somehow. I'll figure it out, dude. Give me, give me a couple months with no tooth. It's fine. Yeah. I might get more pussy. That's with no the power. Tooth. People don't understand. Like, if you've been fat your whole life, it it definitely helps you in, in many ways. Mm-hmm. Not medically, obviously. No, no, no. The and, lifespan and is not short. necessarily self esteem, but the outward. The yes. confidence you have. Short if you're able, burst. Yeah. If you're able to have the confidence to be that fat and not, you know, be into like, 
you know, Warcraft. Or, <laughs> right, 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 right. Then, Seek fat shelter somewhere yeah, right. amongst other fat exactly. pieces of shit. Yes. Yeah, build a, a cabinet in your bedroom. <laughs> That houses the computer so you can have a bedroom inside your bedroom <laughs> that has a toilet paper roll underneath the uh, I mean, I think toilet paper roll holder man. underneath the desk so when you masturbate, mm. you can just pull off a wad of toilet paper beautiful. right there. Have you seen those? Those gaming rigs that have... You, we've mentioned these before. Yeah. Yes, they're beautiful. Yeah. Honestly, I think about it sometimes, dude. You know how beautiful life would be if like... Just on one of my benders, if that was just my life, I'm just always fucked up. I'm eating fucking pizza and wings for breakfast and shit like that. And I'm just, I keep getting fatter and fatter. I don't worry about fucking ever. And I just die. That wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of like yeah. just quitting, you know? Yeah. I'd be very depressed, but then I just get fucked up the second I start getting depressed. I had a real bad day the other day and I was like, I just want to just do heroin. You know? mm. Oh fuck yeah! I th when I'm like that, I I I would do. I was a while where I was doing a lot of pills. Yeah, my roommate pills got are a, great. My roommate got in a car accident. I was just stealing them. Yeah, and I was fat as fuck, bro. Mm. And honestly, those pills running out kind of made me get my life together because I was like, well, yeah, I've I've eaten too many but of these you fucking did, pills. But you didn't get your life together momentarily. I did. This was in college. I lost a lot of weight. I got a fucking girlfriend, and then once I locked her up, I was like, well, oh yeah. Time to get that same girl you were dating when I met you? Yes. Yep. Uh, that you was were what? Pre 370 I was pounds? As, no, I mean, I know you're kidding, but no, I was, I'm serious. I was, no, I was 325. Oh, okay. I thought you were about 470. No, no, 325. I mean, I know. I understand it's hard for you as a man of your size mm -hmm. at, at 4'6. Uh, people are much. You don't you understand size? Well, I'm four six two twenty five. That's true. Yeah, you're Jack. You're built like a fucking <laughs> brick house, a shit brick house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that boy's built like a fuck shit house. <laughs> the fuck ass house boy. Isn't mm. shit brick house a term? It, it, well, bri like a brick full of shit. I don't. I don't know what it is. Yeah, but I think I've heard of it. One of those dumb ways to refer to somebody. I love it, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I don't know, man. I think I'm kind of like if I learn how to whistle out this tooth, dude. Yeah, try it. I can't. <laughs> Damn. You know what you should get in, as an implant is like a little eight ball. Ooh, like a, a magic little, eight ball? Yeah, like a, it's I, got I shake the, my head up and no, down. No, no, no. Just like, you know how with somebody, if, if I was, when I was a kid, I would fantasize about losing my eye so I could get a replacement. Oh, with hell like, yeah. Like an eight ball. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that would be badass, dude. That would have been just badass, Just in second dude. grade, eight ball off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking fucked up and shit. <laughs> Looking like you just got your shit just sell, sell split cocaine. open at a yeah. fucking pool hall. Yeah, yeah. Like a horrible accident happened. That's all I wanted, dude, is a horrific eye injury when I was a kid. <laughs> I remember my first girlfriend. There was some guy. How, how, what are either you she talking? used to fuck or some guy she was friends with who had, had a missing eye. And I remember I was like, I was very insecure about that. That guy had a cool <laughs> Scar. He had cool. He got shot in the eye. I wanted a scar. Yeah. I wanted a scar. She would too. talk about it too, in the way that would make me insecure. She's like, "That's so hot. I want to fuck him you? so bad." I was probably seventeen. Okay. This is the girl who's doing heroin. Uh, now, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> at the time, at the time, she wasn't. I mean, okay. she'd be pills here and there, but sure. her life went to shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. she got that mole dog dick. Did well after she left me for yeah. some guy that got shot in the face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted a scar. I don't remember who. Not scar. I didn't fuck with scar from uh -huh. Lion King. Uh, Tom Berenger and uh, the mask in uh, Platoon. No, I didn't see Platoon till later. That's a good movie, though. That's a good scar. I don't remember the scar actually. Yeah, but uh, did the villain from the mask? It's fucked have up, scar? you know. Because here's the thing. We already do. We already a little baby boy is born, and they like mangle. It's not like, not everyone's on. pal. Not everyone's. But I'm saying he's got a nice little song. You know how fucking mad I am. I'm a. I don't remember being circumcised. I don't give a shit. It looks better. I, I don't see care. where you're going. Yeah. Cut my face open. Yep, yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna remove the head of my dick, you're gonna mm -hmm. do something that fucked up. Mm -hmm. I want a, I want a scar going from the top of my head mm -hmm. all the way down my cheek, through my eye, slice through my uh, eyeball. You want to lose functionality in yeah. one of your eyes. I okay. Want, I want one of those glossy white ones with oh, the red line down yes. the middle. And you know, if you go to a nice hospital. Give me the eight ball. Yeah, yeah. And of just, course. Just, you know. Give Your me family a, has money. Just <laughs> give me an eight ball. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like one of those rich. 
<laughs> one of those rich babies with a scar down his whole fucking forehead and an eight ball in his eye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. And then fucking cunt destroyer tattooed across my neck. <laughs> yeah, you know, in fucking hoity-toity Connecticut, you'll fucking pop into a fucking gas station on a road trip and you'll just see some fucking kid with perfect blonde hair and just a fucking flame tattoo. Look at that rich baby. <laughs> That uh, rich baby with a couple slurs on his forehead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but for real though, I wouldn't have been. I would wouldn't be mad at my parents if they had the doctor slice my face open in various different ways. Mm -hmm. You know, really make me look like a fucked up badass dude. Mm -hmm. And oh, then, yeah. and then, you know, maybe I don't need the circumcision at that point. That's right. Because what yeah. circumcision supposed to do? Keep your dick clean. The only women that are going to be so. fucking you if you have a bunch of horrific facial All, scars already have chlamydia. virgins. Oh, virgins. Yeah. Interesting. Because the only people that are attracted to that are morons. Ah, uh, I see. You know, I was going to say whores that maybe, yeah. you know, had some rough stuff happen to them in their childhood, actually. Oh. That would have been my guess. Yeah. Like that girl, there's no way she had a chill childhood. Which girl? Your first girlfriend. Oh, yeah. No, not at all. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, decidedly for, for sure no. <laughs> not chill stuff probably happened yeah speaking of that I was watching Forrest Gump mm -hmm. Jenny apparently got molested big time oh yeah what it seemed like oh yeah see that movie sucked dude yeah that movie does Forrest it's Gump a, it's sucks a terrible dick. movie I put it on in the background while I was getting some writing done a couple months ago and I was like 15 minutes into it and I was like what what the fuck is this yeah. why do people love this movie also Jenny would have fucked him way sooner yeah cause she got molested yeah, and she's clearly there's the two flavors. There's you never fuck again. Forrest Gump feels like a child a molester tried to make a Wes Anderson movie. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I could see that. Uh, I just don't get it, dude. It's like what the fuck is supposed to be cool about it? He just this retard just fucking hops into every part of history. Uh, yeah. Is that the whole is that the whole movie? And then he yeah. runs fast or something. Something like that. He's good at football. Why? Because he runs fast. Yeah. He's lucky they didn't allow black people in at first. Damn, this is that... bodega coffee is terrible. Yeah, it's bad. But they do sell Lucy's. I just spit all over the microphone. I'm sorry. While I was laughing. Not now, but okay. earlier. That's fine. That's that's Adams. Is it? I don't know. I wonder if Adams ever coming back. I hope he is. Yeah. I feel bad for our boy. Yeah, but the show's going great. Yeah, it's fun to do the show. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that wasn't the truth. The live show is was terrible. You think so? Yeah, oh, it was dude. fun. No, no, not Caroline's. Funny Moms. Oh fuck! I'm sorry, dude. Yeah, oh, I that's wish not I could have been fault. there. I know, I know. Adam refused to tweet out the link. <laughs> I know he's got stuff going on, but I, I don't want to. I would not put it. I would not put it past Adam to interesting intentionally not tweet out the link to the show to make me look bad to remind me that he's necessary for some components of our thing. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's a it's a minor power play from him. You're saying you're thinking. Yeah, you always look. You always look mm -hmm. at what Prince Machiavelli. Right. You're probably you're probably brushing up on Prince Machiavelli right now, aren't you? No, that shit comes natural to me. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I don't need to read a fucking book to know how to manipulate people. Smart. Yeah. How did you pick it up? What? What Adam's doing? Manipulation. The art of manipulation. Um, gaming. Gaming, mostly. of course, on the mods, yeah. on the boards. By by playing anime dating sims. <laughs> Selecting the right question to ask a beautiful princess. <laughs> <laughs> to get to, just to see some side boob after playing it for three yeah, yeah. hours. <laughs> oh, thank you for fucking my pussy. Um, bro, checkmate. Bro, I downloaded one of those on Xbox like too late in life, like five years ago. Oh, damn. Me, me, Back when you had all your teeth. Me, yeah, dude, when I was a beautiful 325 pound boy <laughs> with nothing but teeth, nothing but beautiful chompers. Um, by the way, it does. It turns out you should brush your teeth, guys. Yeah. I was always a firm believer that not brushing my teeth was never going to come. Yeah, I make to fun of me. you, but I got a bot. My, one of my bottom teeth is doing the same thing. That you're oh no! To. Go to the dentist, bro. I got it. I mean, it's all black at the fucking bottom. Oh, it's... that might be resorption. That's what I had, dude. No, I think it's just rotting away. That's a type of rotting away. Yeah, I'm going to lose it to it too, but it'll be one of the bottom ones anyway. So bottom so much better than the... dude. Oh, I yeah. this is the worst tooth. Mm -hmm. Top right? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. The worst tooth to fucking lose. I like that you're still going to be eating like shit, too. You're like one of those guys that, uh, 
you know, 100%. He has this stoma. You know, it's like the fucking tracheotomy, and then they smoke through it anyways. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I had one day where I was on a liquid diet, and that was fine, and then... They said 24. Your boy got right back to it, dude. Yeah. Right back to I am kind, kind of a bender. I'm in a weird part where it's like I'm struggling to get my life together, but every medical problem sinks me back into depression. So I eat yeah. like shit. And I am. Well, and this, this tooth, the gum has been receding for like five years. Oof, my dog. And it's every year it gets worse and worse. Go to the goddamn dentist, bro. Oh, shit. Well, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't? No. It mm. doesn't hurt at all. It's not loose. It feels healthy. It'll bleed a little. Because what I do is I use one of those, you know, those hooks, those metal hooks. Uh-huh. I'll, I'll, after I brush my teeth, I'll scrape anything oh. out of the, that hole with one of those metal things. Oh, shit. So I pay extra attention to it. And I, I, like, I, like, I do my own scaling and my own math. You got to fucking get a doctor to do that shit, dude. Why? I don't know. It's a tool. I know how to use tools. Mm-mm. I don't trust you with it. You're going to fuck up. Bro, by the way, the cleaning I got, because I hadn't just gone to the dentist at all in years, mm. so they did a cleaning too. That shit was worse than the fucking... Yeah, they do, where they scale and plane you? Yeah, dude. Yeah. It, su- it was like tor- It was like fucking a mine. I feel like I was I doing- had that shit done once, and everybody's like, oh, it's excruciating, and it was fine. Nah, bro. I just didn't... I mean, it was like uh, uncomfortable, but... Nah, it was horrible, dude. It was like some Honduran, like little fat Honduran lady who had no mm-hmm. time for my yelps. I was really like, ah, ah. <laughs> there was a couple times where yeah. I had to stop her. I spit out just the most viscous red ass blood at the end. It wasn't even like a little pink, dude. This yeah. bitch was going at me and had, with no remorse, dude. Yeah. Well, I guess I should go to a dentist and get a cleaning. Yeah. I still don't have health insurance. Damn, bro. It's so expensive, and then it's shit. If you look at the marketplace, it's like there's not, there's not a single plan that's four stars or above in my area. Yeah. There's no platinum plans. You have to get a shitty plan that sucks, and it costs $500 a month. With like and it a, does nothing. With a $6,000 deductible. Yeah, exactly. The thing that it does do is the health insurance company is allowed to negotiate prices with the medical provider. Mm-hmm. So you pay $500 for a thing that would have cost $800. Gotcha. Um, but they still don't pay. But I feel like if you go to a good doc, see, when I say I got to hook up this time, a friend, a friend's uncle's actually a good dentist, and he really did, like, he did do good work, and the cleaning is good, and he also knows a surgeon who has been working with me. Like, they've been like mm-hmm. cool since I don't have insurance. This is the thing: if I go to a guy and I get my teeth cleaned, I pay five hundred fucking dollars. You're not paying that for teeth cleaning. Then I pay two hundred or whatever I pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want them to cut. Across my face, <laughs> right, through right. my eye with a scalpel, <laughs> and I want that goddamn eight ball. That's right. We yes. can get matching eight balls, dude. I would. How be jealous would Adam be if he comes back, dude? And you have a missing tooth with an eight ball in it. That, my honestly, eye, that my would be f- cool. Half my face is stitched <laughs> back together. Yeah, I mean, you're still healing, so you look horrible. It's just pink <laughs> and terrible. <laughs> yeah, he comes back. I've been butchered with a machete. <laughs> And I have an eight ball eye. Uh-huh. And he goes, what? <laughs> I want one. I'm like, you're not allowed to copy, bitch. Sorry, dude. No copying. I'm just hooked up to an IV. And then I smile and it just <laughs> gleams. My little eight ball gleams in the fucking yeah. sun. Yeah, dude. We went to the hospital. <laughs> bitch. I guess we went to the hospital without you. I guess it would be a round eight ball tooth. It would be, it would just be, it would just be cosmetic it would not no, be, it would be it would look like it look like a tooth it would look like a tooth but then it's got the eight ball on god this too. fucking sucks dude, this is the most talking i've done because <laughs> it's like you, you know like i mean i'm I, i'm regular talking but like i sound so fucking stupid you speaking do out of the i've already gotten tooth. used to it it sounds normal to me now i just hit a couple f's in a row and it really got to me yeah but whatever man i'm precocious and young and cute I got a tooth missing. I'm definitely not dying. That's for sure. It's de- this is definitely not the first stage of my body quitting on me. Yeah. Between this and the growth in my jaw, <laughs> I mean, getting fatter every year and less healthy. Yeah. And doing more drugs as yeah, I age. Dude. You're young. You're almost 30 years old. <laughs> yeah. That's young. That's young. That's certainly not middle age. No. no by definition. No. Mm-mm. You know. We're definitely young guys. I'm, I, dude, I fucking, you know when you're like half asleep, half awake, you know? Yeah, of course. I, had, I And you're still kind of like dreaming, but you mm-hmm. know you're like sort of awake. I had mm-hmm. one of those the other day, and in the dream, someone was like, how old are you? And I like had to think for a second. I'm like, uh, I'm 16. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, wait, 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 I'm 19. And the guy's like, okay. And then I woke up, and I was like, 
Fuck, I'm 29. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> That's yeah, I haven't like aged mentally in 13 no, years. No, absolutely not. I'm stupid as fuck. I'm the I'm dumber. Yeah, but we've talked about that. Yeah, I can't. I don't know, man. I really do think this might be it, man. <laughs> The beginning of the damn end. Yeah, that's how Comtown ends with everyone dying. Yeah, just you left alone. Yeah, the way it began. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Jake Flores and Mike Racine. Yeah, Blake Midget. <laughs> there's no way that fucking. There's no way that Jake and Blake wouldn't die like six months after it's you. It's true. That's like if it's you're the like. It's curse, dude. You're like cars breaking down. You're like, oh, I'll just buy another one. And you're like, oh, well, I could get a loan. Or. Right. I could spend $500 That's on this right. 1987 Maxima. <laughs> <laughs> oh last yeah, six just cigarette burns in the fucking yeah, seat. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> ripped a, a knife to the fucking like uh, you know it's like sinking that like the top of pole. I love that when you go, you go into like a restaurant, like a shitty diner, and someone's like taking a knife to the seat. Yeah, 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 yeah. The booth, and they're yeah. just like, ah, this fuck. Who's doing that? Who's know. cutting up booths? <laughs> Probably a kid like you as a child. Yeah, I can see maybe. you taking a knife. Did someone do a bit about that? I don't think Who's so. Who's slashing the booths? I don't the think diner. so. I don't think they did. That's all yours, buddy. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's like, that's such like a 50s gang move. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You go to like a 50s themed diner and you have to threaten the waiter by slicing up. I the... heard you was serving PRs here. Yeah. <laughs> we don't let the, we don't let the Thunder Horses sit in this. <laughs> the Thunder Horses down from 87th Street can never come into the diner. Yeah. When, when well, the only thing that like uh, uh, separated gangs was their fucking little names they yeah. were just all white guys they yeah, weren't yeah. even they didn't even get the race yet yeah a beautiful time in america the, the 86th street goofballs <laughs> nobody messes with them that's billy he's the hardest guy in the world his dad just got laid off <laughs> That's what makes him so hard. Is that his, his father suffers from depression. <laughs> Damn, I could have been in a gang. That's when I was. T that's when I would have been tough. Yeah. Back then, when none of the gangs were very real. Yeah, back in the fifties. I could have been. A, I feel a like gang. everybody has those fantasies. Like when you read about like bank robbers in the twenties. Oh like, yeah, yeah. De Mulaney definitely does a bit about that. So I don't remember that. Can't go into that territory. Oh, I you know, know. You know that bit he does about how easy it used to be to rob a bank back in the day. Oh, easy to commit a crime, wasn't it? Yeah, easy to commit like, a crime. You go into like, a bank and you tell everyone your name. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. He also, yeah, he also had that other bit about, uh, uh, like, you're bleeding everywhere, and it's like, the detective comes in, and he's like, Here's the, this is the, the like, the criminal's blood is all over. He's like, yeah. oh my God. No, it's not. It's we'll like, clean yeah. it up. Well, here's, like, the victim or whatever, and there's, like, there's blood, hair, and semen everywhere. And then the detective goes, gross, clean it up. <laughs> yeah. That's the punchline. Yeah. Thanks for listening to Come Town, the stand-up comedy recap podcast, <laughs> where we repeat bits. <laughs> that comics have done and we say who does them so it doesn't mm -hmm. count it's as not stealing, stealing. Goods. it's attribution baby the New York Times like recaps like they do like a best of late night and then they transcribe things that the late night hosts really say. yeah and it's just it's it's almost like they're doing it to prove how not funny late night is that, I get that because when you read those jokes it's uh, brutal they're terrible I mean it's tough enough watching them yeah. but it's like you know it's these fucking bouncing up and down and it's like there's this fucking audience yeah Ah, oh, fuck, Maron. So what should I do next, man? What do I do? In life? Yeah. I don't know. I I've kind of run out of things to do. I think this is a sign that I should just fucking... I feel like I feel like my life in the last year is like, you know, in Scarface when the push it to the limit montage Yo, is yeah. happening? So it's me at the Porsche dealership, you yeah, know? Yeah, 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 Me, yeah. F like, fucking a hot girl mm -hmm. or whatever, like, mm -hmm. ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 -da, you know, just blowing the money. Yes, like, of course. You know, PlayStation VR, push it to the limit. Right. Ba -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Wait fast, you know. <laughs> right, right, the right, right. of no return, you know. Uh, the $800 stealing fat. wheel. Yeah, $800 stealing wheel. <laughs> push it to the limit. <laughs> but but, uh, but, but then, in, then we're only halfway through the song, and there's still plenty of song left, and I'm just sitting in my apartment because I've run out of shit to do. <laughs> Past the point of no return. I'm just watching the Apple TV screensaver and twiddling my thumbs. <laughs> Reach the edge, but still you got to learn. Just looking at my fucking Apple Watch. How to keep it. Answering a text message about why Adam can't come back to the show for six months. <laughs> 
Push you to the limit. Suck your father's penis. Me reading like the penis. Wikipedia page for corporate sales tax. <laughs> for how capital gains works. <laughs> Yeah, just fucking look. Maybe at I'll become a stockbroker. Yeah, yeah. Never mind, fuck all that shit. I ain't learning. Do, 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 do. Learning is for gay guys. As soon as the podcast ends, I'm fucked. <laughs> Good luck getting a job if the employer has Google. Even if it doesn't end, I still have depression. I just want to kill myself. Hell yeah, dude. Everything's going fine and I want to die. I feel like I just need to get over these uh these little health humps, you know? Yeah. These lovely health lumps. Yeah. Suck my tits. <laughs> Actually, the doctor said it's crazy. He said um if I the more nudes I receive into my inbox, the healthier I'll be. <laughs> so, I can't believe he said that, but yeah, I mean, uh, I guess you guys don't want me to die. You should listen to what the doctor has to say. Yeah. But he also said some other gay That's shit right, about dude. apple bottom a day keeps it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got those apple bottom jeans? Put your ass on DMs. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah, or even if you don't. Yeah. You know? If one of my bonsai seeds came out of the soil, it didn't sprout, it just fucking worked its way up out of the soil. Interesting. I don't know how that happened. That's a sign of disrespect, dude. It you got to fucking make that seed a fucking Not example. only is it not pl growing. It's unplanting itself. <laughs> yeah. I, that's how bad I am at bonsai. Yeah. You have to make that seed an example. You have to fuck it in front of the other bonsai seeds. Yeah. You do have to fuck it. Mm -hmm. You have to rip that bonsai seed. Man, this is depressing. I All know. my friends are dying. Yeah, I'll, be, I'll probably be fine. This this round probably won't get me, but I'm not going to change any of my behavior. You behaviors. still have going to the doctor for that tumor in your head. No, no. I, I did. I talked. I mean, uh, the biopsy's next week. I'll figure it out. It's just something that has to get removed, more oh. than likely. Like, oh. it's some fucked up growth. Okay, uh, but it's not like... I mean, they have to do a biopsy still. It could be cancer. Yeah, it could be, but it's probably not because cancer would have just eaten through my fucking jaw. Mm. This is just some fucking growth that's pushed it aside, and I have to remove it and, like, get a fucking tooth removed. That's one of those things where it's like they take it out, and they're like, it's not cancer, and then a year later, you have cancer. Pro yeah, it could be. I mean, we'll find out, yeah. you know, it's cool. It makes, you know, I was kind of feeling better about it, but now, yeah, now that you say it, dude, you got to be realistic about, about these it. things. <laughs> that's I tell, I tell, you are, I tell all of my patients. <laughs> that's right. That's Staying right. positive. That's for idiots. <laughs> right, 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 right. Be right. realistic. Say goodbye to your family. That's true. You know, mm -hmm. spend time gaming. Yeah, I do have to beat a couple games. Yeah. Damn, I don't want to have cancer, dude. I want to live. Yeah. I want to live at least another 20 years. Nobody wants to die. There's so much more pussy to be gotten, dude. Yeah. You know? There's so much more titties to suck. You know, it's funny because a lot of people, I always thought, like, who would want to live forever? To and eat. I, I think, honestly, I would. I think I am that much of a crazy person. Like, you know, these, like, these, these, like, tech. I could see you being like a one of those fucked up like bodybuilders in their eighties that doesn't look that old. The, the, the what that that man with the beard from the the spam advertisement? No, no, no. There's, this yeah, grandpa yeah, yeah, figured yeah, out the yeah, one yeah. trick that ripped grandpa. No, there's like two different vegan black people that are like that. Yeah, you know that old lady. She looks kind of good. Actually. No, I mean uh, having my brain removed and put in a robot mm -hmm. and then being blasted into space. Sure, that's okay. what I want to be. You want robot limbs. No, I just want to be sort of like... Sentient. Yeah. So you don't even want the pleasures of humanity. Actually, who am I kidding? Yeah, yeah that would be an upgrade for you. Right. If I could just be some sort of distant quasar <laughs> contemplating things. <laughs> How funny it would be if like humanity already reached that point and everybody left, and but mm -hmm. like it was humanity, so it's just regular people. Right, 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 and, right. Like, right. Scientists are looking through a telescope and like they have like a... One of those radio telescopes or whatever. Oh, that's funny. Listening like a like a pulsar, and it's like, listen to this. And it's like, and they're like, isn't that amazing? This is coming from millions of miles away, but it's really just a, an ancient mind, and it's out there. Just like those are all just slurs. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just some racist guy. <laughs> yeah. They, wait, what about this? The ancient Egyptians, they blasted the fuck off. Yeah, did they're they? smarter than us, dude. Is that true? I think so, dude. Yeah, yeah they're they're in space now. We should get into. Cons Conspiracy theories. I would love that. We should get into. I mean, where's Atlantis? We should baby? get into alternate realities where you don't have cancer. Oh fuck yeah! Just have to a have, big ass dick. Too. I'll join. I'll join you in that delusion where, where we're capable of living forever. 
we could just we could we could capture our voices in our minds and go into the zoom recorder I don't want to live leave forever. This, leave this bullshit play. I don't care. You're coming with me. Oh, man. I'm bringing all my, gonna suck. I bring love... all my podcast friends no. with me. Ian. We're gonna no, go I don't want to be in eternity we're with gonna, Ian. We're all going to share a Zoom recorder and live in space Just on a quest Ian. for Ian's father. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for heaven. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to find my dad. <laughs> that sounds horrible, dude. I love the pleasures of the body. Yeah. I love eating. I love gluttony. I love having sex. Hmm. I love sucking on butt cheeks. I don't. I feel like the body is a prison. Nah, the body, I love the body. I hate mine, but I love the body. Mm-mm. I, I don't want to live in a world where I don't suck titties. I'm a fucking, I'm a pulse. I'm in a, I'm in a little fucking digital card. I'm a gigabyte. No, thanks, yeah, dude, man. I want to be a Tamagotchi. <laughs> if I can fuck one of the Tamagotchis, <laughs> if I, if it gets to the yeah, point. Dude, you just shove it in your ass and use it like a yoni egg. <laughs> I would love, no, I want to be a digital version of a Tamagotchi. That's got to be, you know, like sharding is already pretty embarrassing, but like, what's the version of sharding where you're trying to Kegel on the bus? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I just, I just carded. You what? I I tried to Kegel and I shit all over my pants. Just butt plugs are coming out of your fucking pants, your Mm. pants sleeve. If I had no shame whatsoever, I would go to all the free yogas in New York City and shit myself at them. That would be awesome. Just in white fucking joggers. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jackass, and this is shitting yourself at free yoga. No joke. That's a good jackass. That would be a good jackass. I can't believe they didn't do that, actually. Yeah. But uh, you're also an old guy, and you can see your Maybe old Maybe I balls. should call up my close personal friend, Johnny Knoxville, and let him know this Are you guys sport. boys? Yeah. When did you guys meet? Uh, we haven't. Oh. I was hoping maybe that, that would a, slide by. It's inconce- it's conceivable that you would be friends with Johnny Knoxville. Steve-O's out there. Steve-O's yeah. doing clubs. That's true. Stapling his nuts to the fucking, to his thigh as a Maybe closer. I'll befriend Steve-O, and I'll pitch him my idea of shitting yourself at yoga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just steals it. Yeah. <laughs> he would, dude. Steve-O's got no fucking not dignity. not stealing it. That's me writing for Jackass. Nice. That would be a great job. It really, truly would be, dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. So, uh, Wee Man has to fight a bunch of other midgets. Yeah. We shove Wee Man in a woman's pussy and make her (laughs) give birth to him at Ruby Tuesdays. (laughs) Can I have the check now? (laughs) Can I get paid, please? And go home. Oh, fuck. They did a couple that was just like putting different kinds of dildos in their asses. Yeah. Different things in their asses. Huh. Uh, they put a firework in his in Steve-O's ass. They put a gold dildo. I think Bam just put a dildo in his ass. Yeah. That was pretty good. So no ass stuff. The car, of course, Ryan Dunn. Yeah. Putting a car in his ass. I've seen Jackass. <laughs> I'm familiar with all this stuff. You're not... Well, I'm trying to figure out what else could we do. What else could Jackass do? Yeah. As, as our jobs right. Ooh, how about this? if one of them is uncircumcised, you put a couple of slices of ham yeah. under their foreskin. I like that show, uh, uh, like, What Would You Do? That's like woke Jackass. Really? There's one, there is a woke Jackass? Yeah, it's jackass? on like NBC primetime. The guy that hosts it is like some fake race. Oh, that guy who yeah. who looks like an Indian, but he's just Latino. Yeah, it's like Jeffrey Quinoa or yeah. something. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That guy. Mm-hmm. They're like, we... Uh, and I've, I'm sure I've talked about this on the show. I don't before. know if you have. Well, yeah, it's always like uh, we sent a racist into a restaurant to not tip his black waitress. <laughs> but what would happen if he was also retarded? <laughs> and then they just like record strangers being like, "Should we confront this retarded man for being racist?" <laughs> That's good, man. Yeah, that's actually a good. That sounds like a good show. A lot. This is, and this is. I know it gets into conspiracy theory territory, but mm-hmm. I truly believe. Yes, that the Trayvon Martin incident was a botched episode. <laughs> of what would you do? I think interesting. The camera crew was there. Uh-huh. They set up George Zimmerman. Interesting. To see what he would do. Uh, if a kid and was, they just were not prepared. Yes. For how- like, get the shit. We gotta go. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. You don't know us, George. You've mm-hmm. never seen us. Yeah, we sent a Subway Jared lookalike into Subway to have sex with a child <laughs> <laughs> in front of everyone to see what they would do. 
<laughs> Don't worry, it's a fake, it's a prosthetic penis yeah. I'm using to fuck this child. <clears throat> we set up a dog fight in the middle of a black church. <laughs> <laughs> and then brought a white Christian field trip in there and told them they were going to go see Black Panther. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> like, uh, what would you do? Hires jackass right <laughs> We sent a racist <laughs> to put a race car in his ass. <laughs> We sent a midget. <laughs> we sent a midget. A midget to staple his balls to the the bulletin board at the community center. But get this, he sharpied the N word on his balls. <laughs> we we had a, a waiter with Down syndrome, and then we had a, a rodeo clown not tip him. But what would happen if he tipped him with candy? <laughs> Coming up next on What Would You Do, MTV2. MTV2's What Would You Do. That's a good show, man. I'm in there. I'm yeah. in that show. I'd fuck with it. <clears throat> fuck, dude. I'm just, it's hard for me to podcast because I'm worried I'm going to die now. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm in a bad mood, too. I don't want my friends to die. I die. Not because I'll miss them or I feel bad for them, but because it's a reminder of my own mortality. <laughs> Oh man, thanks. See, that means a lot. That's the only way to process other people's deaths. By remembering you're also going to die? Yeah, you make it about you. Yeah, it does feel like you probably will survive because you deserve it the least, you know? That's true. You have the least love in your heart, so. Um, yeah, well, it sucks so I'm insecure about it. About having no emotions. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it does suck. When you realize, like, oh, yeah, I am just sort of an angry robot. <laughs> you could go to therapy, man. I keep pitching no. this to you. And then I go out and I see people, like, being friends with each other and listening to each other while they're speaking. <laughs> <laughs> it's rough, man. I'll be honest. Like, I wish I was one of those guys. But then I'll start talking to somebody, and they're like, oh. And then we were supposed to go to the laundromat, but it was already closed. But it was 3 o'clock, and I'm like, I'm out of here. Right, right, right. No, yeah. that is true. The truth, the, the trick is finding someone that doesn't have little dick-ass, bitch-ass mm -hmm. stories. I guess. I just want to trick people into thinking that I have... Empathy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all I want. You'll get there, dude. You'll Thanks, find man. the program to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe in you, dude. Yeah. Maybe I should just move to Los Angeles. For everyone's like me. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why you hated it so much. You, right, because you saw what you mirror. really were. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's partially true. I like I would talk to my landlady, and like we would just both be waiting for our turn to speak. And be like, man, everyone here sucks because they're just me. <laughs> But they're also sexier than me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's not true. I was sexier than her. Were you? But in yeah. L.A., you were the compare. sexiest. I don't think L.A. is a particularly hot place. I, I know that seems like a wild take. Nah. Uh-oh. I wouldn't say so. You wouldn't fuck the average person in L.A.? Nah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I mean, it's a huge city. I think, it's true. I think Manhattan has probably the most attractive women. You're probably right about that. Yeah, you walk around... Because there's they so these women that are wearing like $900 Velcro shoes with no brand name on them. Oh, yeah. You know those? I do know those. They, they, yeah, they dress like, uh, yeah, they look like fake clothes made yeah, for yeah, a movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all those clothes cost. But all the leather's like from a fucking, like a very rare type of baby cow or some shit. Yeah. And it costs so much fucking money. Yeah. And it's soft as shit. That's the thing, that shitty clothes, those shitty clothes. What would you do clothes? if a retarded person walked into Subway <laughs> wearing... Those clothes. Would you steal the clothes from him? <laughs> I'm Abuelita Quinoa. You're watching. What would you do? No. Why would that even be a thing we would do? <laughs> <laughs> Look, sorry. This show's been on for nine seasons. <laughs> We've been doing this for 18 years. Um, yeah, you're right. That is sort of fucked up. Because, like, look, man, you're just at Denny's. Mm -hmm. Trying to have a nice time. You gotta... It's like, to catch a predator, they run out of, like, they finally catch all the pedophiles. <laughs> and they're, like, they just get into, like, you know, we pretended to be a woman that was 45 pounds lighter than she is on the internet <laughs> to lure men in here. <laughs> then the guys show up, and then it's like, it's like, we sent out the real woman. <laughs> And the guy's like, oh, um, what? <laughs> and they just tackle him. A bunch of fat bitches yeah. tackle him on the way out. She's so beautiful. <laughs> you didn't even get to know her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To catch a guy living in 2007 in his head. <laughs> to 
catch a guy who didn't get the memo. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fuck, dude. Jeez, yeah, I just keep... Nah, but it's cool. I have a good-ass funeral, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. At it, White Castle? It'll be so much sadder. Little sliders for everybody? Because a, a fat guy, I'll I'm die soon. Yeah, exactly. Case. Nah, I want everyone to have all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue at my funeral, man. Yeah. Pass the bulgogi. Yeah. Pass the dumplings around. Yeah, it would suck if you died, dude. Nah, I Especially probably won't. before, like, you know, Bobby Kelly. Oh, my God. That would be brutal. I'd be so mad. Yeah. Dying. I'd have to kill Bobby on the way out. I'd be like, yeah. Bobby, I have to, I have to speak to you. Yeah, you're my mentor, and I love you. And then I just shoot him with a gun. Yeah, I can't die before Bobby. Right, she would suck, dude. But uh, I'm not going to. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna shake this shit off. And uh, <clears throat> you yeah, know, it's weird that people die. I've had a couple of friends die. Yeah, because the thing is, you just you don't forget, but it's like just shit keeps moving. Yeah, and it's like, oh yeah, it's like. Yeah, they don't even fucking exist anymore. Who gives <laughs> yeah. a fuck? Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. You remember every once in a while you're sad as shit. Yeah. But it's also like the world that they lived in is gone. Like my aunt died when I was really young and it was so sad. But like my life would be so much di- – like I just never really existed in a world where she like shaped my life after I was like seven. So you're just like, Aww. yeah, that sucks dick that she wasn't around. But, you know, whatever. Yeah. Like that tooth will never come back. No, I'm going to have a belly. Your gonna, hair will never come back. I'm going to have a gold tooth. I'm going to no going back. I'm going to get a toupee. <laughs> once I get the tooth in, once I get the tooth implants, dude, I'm not stopping there. Yeah. I'm getting fucking peck implants. I'm getting bicep implants. <laughs> I'm getting eight ball bicep. I mean, eight ball biceps, dude. Uh, but it's but it's a magic eight ball, so I shake yeah. it and it's like, should you suck my dick? And guess what? The answer is always yes. I have I had some of that liquid latex left over and I was very tempted to give myself epicantic folds uh, <laughs> in the bathroom the other night. Just for me. I wouldn't post it. But. Yeah. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. New character I'm working on. <laughs> the next Come Down Live podcast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's me, Foreskin Eyelids. <laughs> um, <clears throat> fuck, man. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, I've just basically gone to the doctor, gambling on Chopped. That's all I've really done the last couple days. How do you gamble days. on Chopped? You say you who's going to win. Who's going to win. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Mm. A little action. I'm getting back into gambling. I'm starting to sports gamble again. Yeah. You know, but uh, and eating like shit again. I'm not doing drugs at least, but I feel like I might start again. I miss the sweet, sweet... Sweet baby rays. I miss that sweet baby Nailing rays. Sweet just, baby just rays. <laughs> guzzling it, dude. Just, just cooking go, it go, 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 go. I might get some. Fu- I'm gonna I'm get a fucked up meal tonight. Yeah, you want to come with me to the stand? Nah, bro. I'm already in my home. I'm in my sweats. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting a cab down there. Anyways. I'm gonna order some. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I am in the throes of depression, but I'll, I'll be out of it. Soon. What are you doing tomorrow? Can I come up here and do that? That. That mail, post office shit. What am I doing tomorrow? I finally got all those fucking labels from the post office. Oh. I was going to take the shirts with me right now, but it's like I don't want to fucking have them sitting out at the stand. I feel like I have something to this do. This is the kind of bullshit we should be figuring out off the show. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, this yeah. is not the best way to end the show. <laughs> no, nah, it's all right. We got a hot riff in us right now. I feel it, dude. I know, dude. I'm, I'm fired up. I'm fired up. I'm I ready to my go. bodega coffee. You got... I almost bought the beef jerky there, but they only had one of them, and it was on the floor. Bad sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that place is fucked up. Yeah. One time, uh, there was a, a, like a like seven people just like <laughs> strung out waiting. That's what else happened. There was like a whole crew with a pit bull. Really? And there's some girl out front, and this, like, yeah, it's like one of those, like, hood rat white girls, and she's saying, like, uh, she's like, no, I'm telling you, I don't sell drugs, okay? I'm out here living on the streets. I got a kid. And it's oh. like, you're just trying to cram all that shit in while I'm walking, Pat. Like, uh, of this, course, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. doing a character. Of course. There's no way that, there's no way that those thoughts all combine into one No, nah, she's trying to scare another white person, yeah. you know, to show that she's a bad. I already told one. you, I don't sell drugs. I'm out here living on the streets. I got a kid. <laughs> yeah. What, what was the prompt? <laughs> Bro. Hey, do you got any weed? I don't sell drugs. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Out here living on the streets. I got a kid. Okay, you could have just said no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. bitch. I get you fucking sorry. It. And then yeah. you fucking backhand her. Yeah, you got to be respectful. <laughs> But there were people waiting there one time, and they looked strung out of shit. And they were like, "Do you?" And and one one guy walked up to the uh, uh, register and was like, "Are there any cigarettes here yet?" 
And the guy was like, nope. And just behind him was yeah, yeah. every cigarette. Yeah, like, yeah. cigarettes was clearly <laughs> a fucking code word for something, dude. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, they're, they're fucked up over there. But it was just weird because every bodega sells drugs. Like, my bodega, they sell drugs, but the guys are like... Uh, you think like, they do? They're like, uh, Alex, do we have any uh, no, uh, sort of diesel? <laughs> they just speak Arabic whenever they want to. But you can hear them. They're like, uh, AK-47, inshallah, <laughs> <laughs> Your guys are good, though. They're friendly and nice. They're great. Yeah. My guys, are, I don't trust them, dude. Yeah. Blue-eyed Arabs, I don't trust. Yeah, dude. This like the Yemeni guy that... That just fucking flagrantly uses the N word. He rules. Constantly though. referring to himself rules. as the N word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Black guys come in, he's fucking immediately calling them the N word. <laughs> Get out of my door, no, you not funny. even no, like no, that, but like, yeah, in, I know. You know. And nobody questions him. Because he's cool, dude. He's laid back. He's I'm chilled try, out. I'm gonna try one. You you could for sure, dude. <laughs> in your neighborhood, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking like people, you do. Yeah, people would love that. <laughs> With your general energy. Yeah. <laughs> I just I fucking hate all this. Just the guys that look like me that go in there that are like. And you have a good day, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those guys are the worst. Absolutely, brother. Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about that. But we did. Fuck. Well, let's look at the current events, you know? Um, <clears throat> I'll go to I'll E-Fuck. Close out the show with our <laughs> on E-Fuck.com. Our current events. I guess Trump called for gun control. Oh, that was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, this one's called uh, That's Gotta Fucking Hurt. And uh, it looks like some big dildo or something is going to someone's pussy. Anyway, that's the E-Fucked. That's the news. That's the news. <laughs> Um, damn, I got a fucking like pimple forming in my ear canal. Damn, dude. You know how fucking annoying that is? It's the worst. That's almost as bad as having your tooth ripped out of your skull. Yeah. <laughs> having someone take pliers and fucking looking up at a man. Damn, the world used to suck. It. Can you imagine how like, I think about like, you know, yeah, it would have been so, like shitty to live in like the 1800s and get your like hand sucked into a machine and you just die in a factory for a penny a day. Yeah. But, like, what also would have sucked is, like, being my age in, like, 1994. Right, right. You have yeah, to, like, yeah. beat off the Baywatch. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why, that. that's that why it was, was so popular. It was pornography, you could see right? nipples. Because you could jack off the David uh, Hasselhoff. Hasselhoff's beautiful fucking... He's a Maryland boy. Is he? I think so, yeah. Damn, dude. Um, uh, yeah, you used to beat off to that. You used to have to, like, uh, I don't know. Just show up, make plans with someone. David a day Jack before. off. That's good. Yeah. David Jack, Jack me off. Trump stuns lawmakers with calls for gun control. He rules, actually. Yeah. Well, I was saying the other day, it's like you know him saying that he would go into that. Into that was that, awesome. And it's it's perfect. And I don't know if I said this on the show. No. He, it's like he's because to say to say like you know I mean if it were me I would have gone in there no weapon. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, even without a weapon, what they would have done. But he was really goes, and I think he does, he starts off by saying like, you know, you can't say what you would do in that situation. But I would have gone in there <laughs> yeah. without a weapon. He says, I think I, I, can think I would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he acknowledges that you can't do that. Mm-hmm. You. He can. He's got the best rhetorical strategies yeah. of all time. <laughs> say, right. Where he, he would always. He always. So he admits that like what he's saying is like, I know, in in the general. Mm-hmm. This is not a statement that you can make, but right. there's an exception for me. But regardless of that, what makes it so great is like he's what he's saying is so disrespectful to the police officers that responded. <laughs> I know, to this. I know. And it's like that's what people have been waiting for is for a president to say fuck the police. I know, and he and just he sort did of it. did it, and he by did accident. it, and he did it in a way that pisses off everybody. It's awesome, and that's how you. That's fucking punk rock, dude. That's trolling, honestly. Yeah, that's yeah. good ass trolling. He's the best president that's ever lived. <laughs> I mean, if you can't see that, there's something fucking mentally wrong with you. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not an intellectual genius. Like no, that. a brain genius with a big heart pen- penis. Yeah. Somebody sent me a shirt that says "Tiny Dick, Big Heart." That's good. It's great. They sent you one too. What really? Sit in my drawer. Yeah, I got an extra. Oh, time. I can't wait. Yeah, that's my shirt. I know. <laughs> that really that does describe. I me. forgot about it. Damn. Yeah. I mean, it's not tiny. It's just I would describe it as. Any, we lose even a fucking, you know, even a set, a millimeter where it's small, but right now we're just not small. Nice. My dick is just barely not small, just barely right Did you use that hanger I got you? 
I still have yet to use it. All right. Well, don't throw it out. I'm not. It's still. You got to use it at least once. I definitely will. The cock pump will get used. If you need me to buy you some lead weights to hang on there, too. That would be nice. Because I don't know. I don't really know how so, you would hang on So I weights. stretch my cock with it or it's, it strengthens my cock? I'm lifting weights with my cock. No, it stretches it out. It's uh, basically. I put my soft cock in there and it stretches yeah, it out. Yeah, it clamps down on your dick and then it, it, it hangs there. And then I'm assuming it works like a traction device would, mm. where over time you just stretch out the dick tissues. Okay. Now, I don't know if what amount of weight would be like Too enough much? to stimulate. Yeah, because you got to hit like a, you know, I like if you rip try, my like, cock off. Right, exactly. Like if you're trying to like gauge out your ears, you got to like slowly go up. Mm -hmm. They do a thing called scalpeling, I think, where they'll let you, they'll just cut a thing in there and you can get started with an even bigger hole. But, oh, interesting. Yeah, you, like there's a method to stretching out tissue. Hmm. Um, now, I don't know if it even would make your hard dick bigger. It'll probably make you your dick limp permanently forever. I don't know. I don't know that I can afford that. <laughs> That's another thing. I can't afford a, any size a, a losses. Nice cool punk rock earlobe dick. That would be kind of nice. Yeah. yeah I'm going to use it on my foreskin is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Stretch out my foreskin. That now, is the thing. Then we're in business. You can do that. There are people that do like to stretch out their foreskin. Now you ever see that business. picture of that guy that's got, he's got like some kind of thing over his dick and balls and he's hanging upside down from his dick like a bat? No, but that rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to see that shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to Google that shit right now that shit rules anyways we're done with the show so uh guys uh come to if you're in philly come fucking uh see me on march 17th at the good good motherfucking comedy theater uh and then yeah come to funny moms on the 12th we're gonna start saying it now because last the last one sucked dick yeah and uh uh make sure to tweet it at him and tell him to tweet the flyer up for the show mm-hmm because yep. he, he to to do a power move on me. He didn't tweet it out last yes, week. Yes, that's right. And only five people showed up. The art of fucking manipulation. And I'm also on a show at the stand on Tuesday the sixth at eight. If you want to come out to that. Yeah, I'm a. Uh... <clears throat> I don't know, some fucking shit in Boston on March 27th. I posted on Instagram if you want to come. Yeah, go see Nick if you're in Boston. That's a great show, dude. You're going to have fun. Yeah. I'm excited, dude. I've been writing more. Me too, dude. We've yeah. actually, that's the one thing. We have actually gotten better at stand-up. back in the stand-up. And we're going to kill ourselves. Yeah, yeah. We're more depressed, which actually makes sense. I'm back in the stand-up now. I've rediscovered my my first love, the only thing I ever cared about, really. It's true. That, it is the only thing I Flex actually social love. Social media destroyed my life. I know. You, you were good. You're great at Twitter, though. Nah, Twitter had a run. It's funny. I logged into that NYC Guido voice account just to tweet out that Italian shirt. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I tweeted out, people are like, it's fucking sell out like, and unfollow. Someone wrote that. They're like, shame. This used to be a funny account. <laughs> Suck my dick, <laughs> you like, fucking piece what, of shit. What kind of fucking cynical shithole is Twitter now? It that sucks. It's just like, it's, it, you know, because I don't use it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's, it's like a room filled with. You know, that I don't go in. And I just, I'm like, oh, what's in here? And I just, people are like, fuck you. This is, I, because politically, yeah. I don't, you know, you don't, because it's literal human garbage. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. right side is just screaming at each other. It sucks. I just throw jokes in there. Yeah. That's it, baby. Yeah. I just talk about. Instagram's where it's at, dude. I do fuck with the gram. Stop you, baby, too, baby. Instagram. And if you if you can't do Instagram and you prefer Twitter, you're a fucking loser. Mm, tell him, Nick. You're a fucking loser. Don't he hold back on these fucking hoes. I'm not. I'm not. Call them bitches, dude. We sent a retarded guy to use Twitter. <laughs> what would you do? And he just told all those friends about it, and now that's basically what Twitter is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. We sent a retarded guy to work at Vice Media and cover politics. <laughs> And uh, uh, yeah. he just started uh, raping all the girls. Yeah. We sent a retarded girl to Vice <laughs> Media <laughs> to cover politics, and now he's pitching a TV show. <laughs> what would you do? I'm like, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure she's retarded, but we can't not give her a development deal. I mean, the fucking cameras are here. It's clearly it, a show. It's, <laughs> <laughs> we can't say no. The cameraman's also retarded. Everyone's going to accuse us of sexism if we don't buy her show where she just eats candy <laughs> for socialism. She just eats Karl Marx candy. Caramel Mars. <laughs> Car Carl Mars bars. Oh, there's so many fucking options. Yeah, there's a lot there. The communist... <clears throat> manic, manic, mm -hmm. 
Monte Cristo. Monte Cristo. Yeah, it's a good you sandwich. Go. It's a sandwich. Can, but you put cans of Monte Cristo with candy in it. Mm-hmm. And that's the riff, folks. Thanks for listening. <laughs> listen. 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 Listen.